I hope you guys have been doing well. Just thought since we've had a break, uh, we'd start off a couple days here where we're just taking a look at review. Uh, there is going to be some questions to be answered, and I'll give you some stuff that we'll try to figure out online. Uh, stuff will come through Google Forms, uh, maybe some assignments where you'll go and just copy down answers and send them back via Google Sheets. Uh, now, obviously, Hayden's got to come in and bother me, but he's just going to bed. Night, Hayden. So today we're going to be reviewing the surface area of a square or a rectangle. So taking a look at the shape, it's a 5 by 5 centimeter object. First thing we got to do is determine the appropriate formula that we're going to be using. Now, if you take a look, you can either use your formula sheet, you can use your textbook, maybe you know it off the top of your head. We don't have all our pretty uh, whiteboards that it's written down, so we just kind of have to remember what to do. Now, looking at this shape, it is a square, and we know that one side, which means we know is the base and the height, since it's identical all the way around. Next, we should have come to the conclusion that... To find the surface area, there's two possible formulas that we're going to use. Either the surface area equals side squared or the surface area equals base times height. I mean, whichever one you want to use and say you're using. After this, once you have the formula, as you see here, surface area is squared or the surface area is base times height, we just substitute the values. Side is 5, base is 5, height is 5. Okay. Once you've substituted, you do the math. Okay. Uh, oops, I didn't change this one here. This should say side squared and 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, and base times height, 5 times 5, is 25. Now, there's one final thing after you do the calculation, and that's making sure that once you've done the calculated that you have stated the answer in the correct units of measure. Now, remember, this is centimeters squared, so because we have two centimeters that we're multiplying together. Okay, So that's a square. Now, different shape. This we have a rectangle. First you determine the appropriate formula that you're going to be using. Same as always, we could use our formula sheet, your textbook, top of your head. Okay? Now, knowing you guys should have been coming out, maybe I would have asked Evan, possibly asked Emily, and sometimes asked Trevor. We know this is a rectangle, which means the surface area is base times height. Here's the base of 14. Here's the height, at 6. Okay, like I said, after stating the formula, base times height, basically you just multiply. You substitute in 14 for the base, 6 for the height, we multiply the values, we get 84. Okay, and as before, the most important part of this is not only doing the multiplication, knowing the formula, but making sure that we state the answer in its units of measure. We have two meters that are multiplied together, making sure that 84 is meters squared. Um, that's pretty much for squares and rectangles. Watch for the next video, which is going to deal most likely with triangles. Then we'll go to circles, and then we'll go to prisms, cones, and pyramids. See you soon.